hearing their name called out as champions for the very first time in local football. Haugang United, champions of the 2022 Singapore Cup. Botogol has scored most of them. He got them right here with a couple of important strikes. Zulfami got them here with his assists. Shawal Anwar has been scoring goals regularly this season. Emi Reka, he too, not just with his goals, but with his assists as well. Shafiq Ghani and Sharil Ishak didn't play a part in the final, of course, but they're up there getting their winner's medals. And for Sharil Ishak, it's another winner's medal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, incredible for him. You know, he's, uh, he's played his part as uh, a member of this squad for Haugang United. Didn't get an opportunity, much of an opportunity in the Singapore Cup campaign, certainly not in the final. But look, uh, all that matters is they've got the winner's medal right around their necks. Oh, the likes of Najlim Herman and uh, Farhan Zulkifli. It's a taste of hopefully what's more to come. Anders Applin did a good job today on Kupitovic. He did, have he did. Say. Another really good performance by uh, Anders Applin. And <laughs> I, I thought he was very smart with how he dealt with uh, Kapitovic. Almost seems like he's got his number. You know, he doesn't get too tight. He allows him at times to have the ball, but makes sure he pushes him away from the danger areas and just tries to kill off the angle for him, make it more difficult uh, in, in those uh, moments where he needs to find the finish. I'm daring enough to say that uh, that might be the son of Krychek on his jersey. Oh, well, we're not going to speculate much. But he deserves to wear a different colour because he was different class tonight. He, he certainly was. I mean, if you're his coach, if you're Fidel Skasim, to have a player like Krychek step up in a final, I mean, that's gold dust. That's <laughs> it's just incredible to have Krychek come into this final and put in that sort of performance. A match winner, a game winner, title winning performance by Kristin Krychek. And he deserves all the platitudes that are going to come his way. Once again, a very happy birthday to their main coach, Clementio, turning 56 yesterday. And the birthday cake came. And from the cake, up popped Christian Krychek. The best birthday present, not just for Clements, but for all of Haugang. The Christian Krychek final. That's what 2022 will be remembered by. And even even without those goals, uh, Roshan, you'd have to say he probably was the best player on the pitch. He was. <laughs> he was just work great, energy, and he, and, he, and he meshes that with quality as well. It's, it's not a case of him just running around and working hard. You know, he, he puts those things together, and that turns out to be a spectacular player. You know, when you can go box to box, when you can put in that sort of intensity for 90 minutes, 95 minutes, whatever it is, and still... You have an impact at both ends of the pitch. It just says a lot about what he's brought to this Haugang United side and all his qualities. But champions check. Uh, we might as well give it as a winning bonus for Krychek because he won the final for you. And here's Haugang's moment. The first time they've lifted a trophy. And it is the 2022 Singapore Cup. Eleven years in their history and their first ever trophy. Well, you did say it right, Roshan. They probably had a disappointing season in the SPL. But looking at the following season, if they keep the nucleus of the side, do you think that they could be challenging the likes of uh, Lion City Sailors and Albirex? Listen, this is what I, that's what I said at the start of this season. The quality that they have in the squad. They should have done a lot better in the league. And it was disappointing. It really was. They struggled to find that consistency. They've rescued their year with this cup win. They get themselves continental football for next season as well. A place in the AFC Cup with the Singapore Cup uh, title. So, you know, hopefully they can go and push on and, and go on and, you know, try and live up to our expectations of them being one of the title challenges for next season's campaign. We'll see what they do in the off-season, but hopefully they can build a side capable of challenging. Yeah, that's very important as well because remember, of course, they lost their top scorer last year. 
Tomoyuki Doi, and it all changed, and they struggled for goals in the early stages, but goals were always in constant supply for Haugang United, and it was goal.